let's actually see this quiz funnel in action. Okay, so here it is. Quiz funnel, scroll down. Yes, always, yes. Yes, there's triggers. Yes, I'm ready for this change. I'm, I'm hopeful. I want this solution. I want to figure out how to get my dog to behave better, right? Analyzing your results, boom, right to the sales page that presents the solution. So let's actually start building this quiz funnel. Now, the purpose of this specific funnel can be to generate leads. It can be to sell an affiliate product or to sell one of your own products itself. But in this example, we're going to be using, uh, I'm going to be selling a affiliate product, which is a dog training course. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is add a new element and add a headline. So the headline is going to be one of the first things that people see, minus obviously right here, the obedient doggo and this logo, but it's going to say something that captivates the visitor's attention. And for this example, I'm going to say, take this short quiz to discover the causes behind your dog's persistent misbehavior. All right, so this is really important uh, to understand that this headline needs to really call out your target audience. It needs to separate the dog owners that are going to be landing on this page and a dog owner that you know their dog is a saint their dog is an angel their dog is well behaved and the dog owners that are struggling the dog owners that are frustrating the dog owners that need help okay that's what this headline is doing it's calling people out all right now we're actually going to go and add the actual quiz part which if you scroll down here to add survey element and just real quick the software that i'm actually using is called click funnels i use this for all my funnels all my websites um, everything that i build out and you can get a free 14-day trial if you click in uh, the link below in this description i'll leave it there for you now we're actually going to want to add the questions in the quiz funnel the questions and the answers now this is one of the biggest thing things that always held me back. And I know it probably holds a lot of people back because it's like, what do I even put in these questions and answers? What do I do? And that's where this prompt in AI was is going to really help you. So this prompt I wrote out, you just simply need to input your information, your product, your business, your service to help you generate the questions and answer that that are going to uh, really generate an emotion and allow you to sell, allow you to put a buyer in a state of mind that they're ready to purchase. So here is the exact prompt. Uh, write five questions and answers for a quiz funnel. The answers should be yes, no, multiple choice, or both. Make them related to dog misbehavior. Again, so you just need to change this bold information to what is going to be related to you. And also understand that I'm only having five questions, but this is not going to be 20 questions. We need people to understand that this is a short quiz. This is not gonna take forever and it's gonna be very helpful to them. Then let's go on to the next part of the prompt. This is all one prompt also. Uh, the headline for the quiz is, take this short quiz to discover the causes of your dog's persistent misbehavior. The product eventually pitches a dog training course. Do not mention anything about a dog training course in the questions or answers. This is important. We don't want people to know that the entire point of this funnel is just to get them to buy, all right? That's like sending cold traffic right to a the sales page. It's not gonna convert as well uh, as opposed to sending them to a quiz funnel that really warms them up to the idea of a, a product that's going to solve their problem. Then it's gonna, uh, we're asking ChatGPT, act like a doctor in the questions where you are trying to find out what is holding this person back from having a dog that is well behaved. All right, so the act like a doctor thing I think is really, really cool because we're trying to prescribe them the solution. The solution being this dog training course. We're trying to get them uh, to understand that there are some symptoms in their life and this, this product is going to help them with those symptoms and solve their problem. Then the last question should get them excited, hopeful, and ask if they're ready to help their dog eliminate bad behavior from one of America's top training dog training professionals. All right, so this is the entire prompt we're gonna put in, and we are going to go over to ChatGPT, copy, paste, and get those five questions, okay? Now that the five questions are uh, are being generated, we're going to start adding them into there.
All right, so let's go over back here. We're gonna edit the survey options. This is the first question, and then let's grab that. So does your dog consistently ignore basic commands like sit, stay, even in a distraction-free environment? All right, so really when I'm uh, copy-pasting these, understand or really question you know, how is this going to get someone in the state of mind to purchase or to opt in as a lead, all right? Uh, now, in the subtitle, I usually like to put question, question one out of five, all right? Because I want them to know that this is not a 20 question quiz. This is, they're not gonna be on here on this page for 30 minutes answering a ton of questions. No, this is short, it's to the point, okay? Uh, it's going to be yes, no, and sometimes are the answers. Yes, no, and answer sometimes. Okay, then and then the answer redirect our next questions. Okay, so we're going to add the next question. Multiple choice, create. The next question, when your dog meets new people or dogs, do they exhibit signs of aggression or excessive fearfulness? Okay, question two out of five. Always, occasionally, and never. All right, same thing. Go back. Now we add question number three, multiple choice. What is question three? Is your dog, is your dog left alone for extended periods of time during the day, which coincides with the misbehavior? Okay, question three out of five, almost done. Yes, regularly. Sometimes, but not often. And then finally, no, someone is usually at home. All right? So th these questions are really trying to understand the person's home life, the misbehaviors, and the dog, okay? Then number four, multiple choice, create. Have you noticed patterns or triggers that seem to cause your dog's misbehavior, such as loud noises or the presence of strangers? Question four, yes, there are definite triggers. I'm not sure. And no, the behavior seems random, okay? And then finally, question five, and probably one of the most important questions is, how would you feel if you discovered there's a way to help your furry friend overcome their challenges guided by one of America's top dog training professionals. Are you ready to see your dog transform into the well-behaved companion you've always wanted? So do you see that question, how it really frames the idea of, you know, are you ready to take action? Are you ready to solve this problem? Okay, that's really, really powerful. Okay, question, and then this is question five. Yes, I'm ready and excited for this change and answer. I'm hopeful, but I would like to learn more. And the last one, I'm unsure, but willing to consider the options. And now do you see how all these are still, they're all still saying yes to the answer. Okay, that's a really powerful psychological uh, uh, technique to consistently get someone to say yes to your product or your service or questions that they are, that you're asking them can eventually get them more open to saying yes to your product or your service. Now that we have all the questions, we're going to change the answer redirect to end survey. Okay, this is going to end the survey, but then we're going to change the outcome. What do I mean by that? After they answer all of these questions, we're going to have it appear like it's loading, like it's thinking, and it's going to give you the answer to your, or the solution to your problem. Okay, so it's going to say right here, loading, then page redirect, right? So it's going to say, analyzing your options, do not leave the page or reload the page. Okay, after all the questions are asked, I'm sorry, are answered. And then we're going to put in the URL to the product that we're promoting, which is this is the product. All right. Develop your dog's hidden intelligence to eliminate bad behavior and create your well, the well, the obedient, well behaved pet of your dreams. We're going to grab the URL. We're going to put that in and boom, we are all done. And I'm just going to add a little bit of contrast here. We're going to add a divider. Make this a little bit bigger, change the color, and center this. And that is it. Now, 
let's actually see this quiz funnel in action. Okay, so here it is. Quiz funnel, scroll down. Yes, always, yes. Yes, there's triggers. Yes, I'm ready for this change. I'm, I'm hopeful. I want this solution. I want to figure out how to get my dog to behave better, right? Analyzing your results, boom, right to the sales page that presents the solution. Okay, so imagine you're going through that entire quiz funnel. You're going through those questions and trying to understand your dog's misbehavior. Then you answer the question, yes, I'm ready to learn from America's top professional dog trainer and here it is with the product itself that will help them. And then anytime someone purchases, you get a commission from this product itself, okay? So that's it, that's the quiz funnel. I hope this was helpful. I hope you got a lot out of it and you can start creating quiz funnel for generating leads, gen generating sales, whether that's your own products or affiliate products. And uh, if you like this video, you're gonna like the videos at the top. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.